All right, guys. So last night, the Toronto Maple Leafs finally passed the first round. The last time that happened, I did not have full consciousness, so couldn't really tell you what it was like. But aside from the Montreal Canadiens and the Toronto Maple Leafs beef, last night was kind of nice to see. And you know what? You kind of had to be happy for the Leafs fans. 19 years is a long time, and I wouldn't be able to last until I was like 39 years old without seeing the Habs win another round. Like, I just don't think that's possible. So for you diehard Leafs fans, congrats, enjoy it. But I'm not here to talk about that today. I'm here to talk about how I think the Tampa Bay Lightning could have done things differently to change the outcome of this series. And we're going to have to take it back all the way to the March trade deadline when they sent away a bunch of picks and cow foot to the Nashville Predators in return for one forward, Tanner Genot, who did not have the best season. He had a great season last year, but this year was not too good. All that just for him to be a healthy scratch in the elimination game. So not that great of a deadline pickup. To me, what I think they could have done better is, well, obviously, they could have traded for Joel Edmondson. And I'm not even fully saying this out of bias. Joel Edmondson is a big defenseman, blocks a lot of shot, covers the middle of the slot area very well. And what I noticed in the series was that the way Toronto kept beating Vasilevsky with shots from the points, tip-ins, or rebounds, and if you got a big defenseman like Joel Edmondson, he's not going to let that happen as often. He's going to block more shots. He's going to box out the players. And overall, Edmondson is just a very nice piece to have in the playoffs. And in hindsight, this move would have helped so much just solely because of the injuries to Tampa's blue line. You know, Victor Hedman, he got hurt. He came back, but I'm sure he's still laboring in a lot of pain. Eric Chernak, you know, obviously took that bunting hit to the head. That did not help their blue line one bit. But having a guy like Edmondson on that blue line would have definitely came in clutch at that moment. And Tanner Janot just did not help at all. Even being a healthy scratch, that just it did not help the series. It was a waste of a trade deadline move. Obviously, half the picks they sent away probably won't even turn into good prospects or NHL players alone. But I'm just saying they could have got way more for their buck. And Joel Edmondson has proven time and time again, he is a clutch man when it comes to the playoffs. And again, just a first round pick is all Habs fans wanted for Edmondson. And I'm sure both sides would have been very happy with that. Anyways, guys, that is going to be all for today's video. I'm not trying to shame Toronto here. I think they played their hearts out. I'm just looking in hindsight, and I think the Tampa Bay Lightning really could have made a better trade deadline acquisition. They could have put their eggs in different baskets, not all in the same one with Tanner Janot, and it just would have made a lot more sense for them and probably would have worked out a lot more. So yeah, Leafs fans, enjoy your win. You guys get a bit of a break now, and you're going to face either Boston or Florida. So good luck with that. And yeah, that's going to be all for today's video. If you did enjoy, don't be afraid to hit that like button and maybe even consider subscribing. Now, with that being said, I'll see you all next time. Take care.